Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a little review on this flashlight that I just bought at Home Depot. Uh, it seems like every time I go to buy batteries for flashlights, I end up just buying a new flashlight. Because they're so cheap, you can get a pretty good flashlight. I mean, this thing was 6 bucks, 597 at Home Depot. Uh, and it comes with the batteries. So, you know, I was looking at like a package of AAA batteries, like 7 bucks. Anyway, this is a LED. It's a Brinkman. I'm sure it's made in China. Okay, but thank the Chinese because they make cheap flashlights that are actually pretty good. It's all aluminum. It's got the push button on the back. I'm all pulled out of the packaging. just want to show you in the packaging. And it also has the lanyard on it. Uh, I was also thinking about getting um, the LED upgrade for my uh, triple cell uh, mag light. But 16 bucks, man. And this thing's so big. You know, it's a pretty good flashlight for how big it is anyway, so I just figured I'd leave it alone. Uh, but these are kind of like my comparable flashlights that I'm using as a kind of a comparison to this. I also got a cheap uh, Husky uh, 3 AAA battery, which this Brinkman is the same. Um, this has less LEDs in it. This is pretty bright, too. This is another cheap flashlight I bought at Home Depot. And then, of course, you got your classic uh, dual AA mag light. You can get these for like 10 bucks now, uh, which is still a good flashlight, but that one's not an LED. So I'll pull this thing out of the packaging and I'll show you how it works and go from there. Alright, so I took it out of the package and took it all apart because I wanted to kind of see how the quality was. Yeah, it's kind of cheap, you know. It's all aluminum, so it should hold up just fine. I don't really see any issue with that. This lanyard that it comes with is a joke. I mean, this is going to last about 10 seconds. I'll just get rid of it anyway. I don't really need a lanyard for anything on there, but it's, that's cheap. But uh, really lightweight. You know, aluminum. It's got the battery carriage like most LEDs do. You put the three AAAs in there. Um, I'll put it together, and I'm going to just kind of compare the brightness to my triple cell mag light. And my guess is it's going to be quite a bit brighter. So this is a good, good flashlight if you want. I mean, geez, for six bucks, if you take it camping and you lose it, it's not like, you know, your dog died. And, uh, you know, good everyday carry uh, flashlight, EDC. You know, a lot of guys are into that. Everyday carry flashlight, uh, tactical flashlight, you know, something like that. So I'll put it together and I'll test the brightness against my uh, triple A, or I'm sorry, triple uh, cell mag light, uh, the big one. So I'll do that. Hang on. Here's a quick side, uh, size comparison to the other flashlights, this being the one all the way on the right here. So it's shorter than the double uh, A mag light, and, uh, but it's just fatter. One thing I like about this is it's got the push button on the back instead of on the top like these Huskies do. I bought got a deal on these around Christmas time. I bought like six of them with batteries. And that's always the thing, man. The batteries are so darn expensive. It seems like they can make these flashlights for so cheap. I'm almost better off just getting a new flashlight. It's kind of cool, you know. So, all right, I'll, I'm going to set up a, you know, kind of a brightness comparison here uh, in the other room where it's dark, and I'll, I'll show you guys. Hang on. Well, not much of a comparison at all. The uh, my mag light's actually a uh, two D cell. Okay, I said it was a three cell. I was thinking around, but this little guy's way brighter. So go out and get one. Six bucks. You get you know you get a whole house full of them for twenty bucks, and uh, you know the LED bulbs never need to be replaced. So this is a pretty good deal. Take it easy.